there'll be a secret area. This one. <gasps> Getting spooky ass. Ghost Hunter, Sam and Lonnie, secret house investigation log. Hidden compartments found. Three. Library, upstairs, hall, foyer, evidence of supernaturals discovered. Zero. So we got the library. One the other room. One the foyer area, I guess. Marked on map, press two. There's a bunch. <laughs> Look, Dad, turn the light on. Oh. Huh. This goes upstairs. What's in here? Some old papers. Cross. Oh, shit. What does it say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. This book. Okay. Interesting. Downstairs. They're just little compartments that don't really go anywhere, they just go around the house. That'd be secret, spooky area. Did I go in this room? What's the bathroom? What the fuck? The blood! Wild color. Red right hand. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. Oh, okay. She said, you need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. She's coming on to her. Locked! Oh no! Man! So good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little down room? We shared a well, dorm room. <laughs> dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable, fantasizing about how our dream homes. Oh, always said, "Oh, D." I don't know. Um, I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a home in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers and I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this old, this good old split level we, we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got the new vinyl reading, writing, well, writing, sorry. Uh, siding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, vinyl siding, holy shit. Jealous, right? Let me know if you're over, if you, oh, if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls go doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Sparking of jealousy. Okay, okay, right back soon. I'll miss you, Rumi Carol. Freaking cursive. It's fucking cursive writing. Look at like cryptic stuff. 
Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, I don't know where to go now. I don't have a freaking key. Um, hmm. I guess I'll look around. Hopefully, I'll find something. Looked everywhere, though. I didn't go on the new the secret areas, though. Okay, so. First one. Foyer there. Locked. Locked. Other one's locked as well. To basement. Locked. Is there one? Foyer. Where's that? Is there one in the side there? Hmm. Might be some type of key somewhere. Oh. Heaven at the edge of the world. Private. Do not read. What else is there? Sam. Private. Oh. Oh, half of her code. Okay. The green glacier. Grade 9. Allegra and her scouting party peered down worthy through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone br brightly off of the inner ice walls of the glacier. Base in which the forest grew it was a strange sight indeed. Such lushness. Lushness. Guxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Up forward without hesitation, bounding the high branches. Blah blah. His life hung in the balance. Quite a breeze through the greenery. He saw the Amazon Zonian upon her pedestal reaching for the lever that would drop her first main to the vat below shouted no and flung her saber at the amazon's reaching hand but it was too late too late the first mate screamed uh, as he fell toward the water the, wa water the water then splashed down and all was eerily silent utterly looked on Frozen in fear and remorse, she had been a moment too late. Okay. We'll come back to that story later then. Fine, I'll read it. You guys are so eager to see the end. But then from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair. Which the first mates, then the shoulders and the sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked at were the eyes, the face, and the hair, hands, and the body of a woman. Still, and the first mate's clothes. Still, the first mate. He, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain, the Amazonian queen said. Uh, she is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and the crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into this queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. <laughs> Last one. One more panel. Hopefully that has the other locker combination. And then we'll go into that locker. There's something good in there. I'm scared it might be a body or something. Ah, man! Misfits. Saturday, October 29th. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me. 
was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Adjusting in the dark. Well, uh, I don't know what the hell to do now. There's gotta be something left. Something. One more thing. Yeah, look in her room some more. Magazine. Hopefully, I can find this one. In here, looks like it's a messy one. Oh, what is that, guys? Looks like a bunny. Yeah, it is a bunny. I see it. It's this one. It's lots of hearts. Professional artist, you guys, you know that? <gasps> super Spitfire or Super NES. This Journey of Crystal. Ah, oh, man. More of this. Just want to find this one. Let me get in the locker first. Samantha, S is for special. A is for adorable, M is for Mary, affectionate, nice, thoughtful, honest, I don't Man, what does it say? I had this in like fourth grade. Bible. Hmm. One more. How do I get in my backpack? Journals, items. 5001. Second half of the combo. Where the hell's the first half? I gotta hack into it. Well, guys, I guess I'll fill you in when I find this next part of the lock combination. I'll be right back. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'll keep looking. Huh? Chun these moves. Holy shit, this is bad. Oh god, this is piercing my ears. Is this good in the 90s? Where's the big shoot boys? Oh god, Shh, throw this shit out of here. Oh gosh. Maybe it's in here. Come on, where's the second part? Okay, so what room didn't we look into? Hopefully, it's still locked. Here, yeah, maybe I don't know. Katie, Katie. Miscellaneous. Hmm. That was an empty cassette case. I'm not exploring enough, guys. shit in there. Better be a shitty ass song, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh. Oh god. Uh. 
Oh, this looks like her Halloween costume. What's up with his music? It's so bad. Oh. Healthy choices. Okay. Shit out of here. Form. Form to elevation. Okay. <sighs> this is pretty poo. Sink here. Yeah, I'll go back downstairs. The secret area. I think we went over all the secret areas though. Sam's room. Downstairs. The attic. Hold on, where are we? Oh, okay. Sam's room. Oh! Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Let's see. This is. This is that Sam's room. Right here, right over here. This is it. This is where champions are born. There you go. There you go. Yes. The Ouija board. Hello. Who are you? I'm scared. What do you want to come back? To come back. <laughs> Put that Ouija board in there. What was it? One, two, oh, zero, fifty one. Oh, this is a chick. Wood bang, wood bang. Take the key. Oh, yes. Everything was oh, smoking cigarettes. Get out of here. She was sitting at my desk chair. She wouldn't leave Gosh, it. Sam. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever love me? And that's when she kissed me. <gasps> whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, there's the basement, guys. Next episode, we'll make sure go down there but if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like helps me a lot and I will see you in the next episode bye guys thanks for watching